And now we go back to Nairobi where Gabe is standing by. Gabe, uh, now coming back to you, we talked about Kenyan members of parliament asking for a pay raise. We want you to break it down a little bit. Give us the numbers. What are they asking for in dollar, in dollar numbers? Sure. Well, what's happening is the MPs are trying to do away with a salaries commission uh, that was put in place to actually reduce uh, MPs' uh, pay. So essentially the commission proposed reducing pay from about $10,000 a month uh, to something closer to six or $7,000 a month. And it doesn't sound like, uh, like you know, an exorbitant amount of money, uh, but bear in mind that the MPs are also getting perks including uh, money to pay for cars, a housing allowance, uh, all these other perks that actually adds up to hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. MPs were making just a ton, a ton of money. Uh, so there really is a lot at stake here. And Kenyan citizens, ordinary Kenyan citizens, are understandably uh, pretty upset that the MPs continue to demand more money. And, and actually, they don't just want to demand, but they want to determine their own money. They want to raise their own uh, salaries. Isn't that the case? Exactly. That's right. And th this commission was put in place to, uh, to, to determine the salaries for them, for all public wage uh, workers. Uh, but the MPs are trying to do away with that. And, you know, this isn't the first time the MPs have tried something like this. This, was, this, this is a new parliament, a new national assembly that just took its seat uh, in the last month. But the previous, the outgoing uh, parliament tried the same thing. They tried to raise their salaries. They tried to uh, give themselves all kinds of retirement perks. Uh, and those, uh, those uh, proposals were actually vetoed by the last president, uh, Mwai Kibaki. And now Uhuru Kenyatta, the president, uh, has also denounced this move. Yeah, now, at the risk of repeating ourselves, really, uh, what is the state of the economy? Does the country, can the country afford this kind of salaries for uh, members of parliament? Well, the easy answer is no. I mean, it's, it, Kenya is a developing country. Uh, it really doesn't have that much cash to spare. And also we have this new devolved system of government that's going to require uh, to pay for a lot more uh, civil mm -hmm. servants and a lot more uh, 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 you know, uh, members of county governments and all okay. that out there. Th thank you, uh, Gabe. We'll, be, we'll continue uh, watching the developing uh, story in Nairobi. That's uh, Gabe Joslo, uh, VOA correspondent uh, in East Africa.